Hey everyone, welcome to today's brand new video. While I do cover a ton of meta and off meta builds in this channel, I do also enjoy exploring other topics that don't get explored enough. Lately, prismatic builds have been popping up with all sorts of builds applied to them. And one of the most common things I've seen in these builds are players using fast or grace to enhance transcendence energy gain. One of the best ways to get fast transcendence energy is via this mod and a kinetic weapon of your choice. So today, we're going to ask the age-old question of what is the best kinetic exotic to use in prismatic builds? And I would love to hear what your favourite kinetic weapons are as well. Be sure to leave a comment and let me hear your thoughts down below. I start with the most popular pulsing game. The Outbreak Perfected is a long returning weapon from D1 that has only recently received new updated perks users can get. The weapon excels in pretty much any area you want to use weapon in, and with thanks to the exotic ability of producing small nanites after a positioning kill and damage, you can use this for both ad clear or boss DPS however you like. But what makes the weapon worth using for prismatic builds is how efficient it can work with fragments available. It doesn't need any huge buff from your site, nor does it need a major damage boost to keep it relevant. It's a straightforward and easy to use weapon that everyone on your team can happily operate with. But since the weapon has received some additional perks, I would highly recommend you get the Headseeker as this will allow the weapon to operate as freely as suggested. But the most OG weapon in game, the Gavostov Exotic and Legendary version has now been brought back into the game and honestly, I absolutely love it. This is a perfect weapon for those who love to use ARs with unique traits but don't want to use Hard Light or Serious Regime because, like, why would you? The weapon comes with a few new perks with its main one allowing weapon to ricochet its 7th round to nearby targets and gain an orb of power will strengthen its effect. It also comes with a shoot to loot for the perk combination, making it more noticeable for users to keep applying pressure wherever they are. How this works with Prismatic though is very easy. Those ricochet rounds will heavily affect Vassal Grace's overall effect as it relies on damage and kills to build up both light and dark transcendence energy. Having this on hand is pretty much like having hard light but on kinetic crack. Huh? I'll leave you to your imagination for that one bit there, but honestly, it pairs really well with Prismatic Bill's focus around this area by quite a lot. So, when was the last time you used Bad Juju in PvE or PvP? This weapon has gone through a wide number of buffs to bring it up to scale, with today's environment, and quite honestly, it's actually pretty good now. The damage is expected for a lightweight frame, but the past 20% buff that Pulse Rifles have received for PvE makes the weapon more appealing for extending the exotic effect for longer. Quite noticeably, using this with Prismatic and the new Solar Super is where you'll get the most bang out of your buck, as you can garner both Prismatic, Ability and Super Energy all in one, while also getting a massive damage buff the longer these strings or curses perks keep going. You should really give this weapon a try, as it's not the same weapon we used to use many years back, but rather much more well defined. I know it's crazy to even mention such a weapon to you guys right now, since this weapon hasn't seen much usage since its debut. Even now it has its time and place to where it's best be used, but it will never be meta, as there are of course much better ARs out there. This is peak, it uses in PvP against a hunter and watch them suffer type weapon, as this honestly makes short work of those caught within its radius. So why use this with Prismatic and Fast Upgrades you may ask? It's because of the fast build up you can do with his multiple shot package design, and also because they can receive a 90% damage buff when you activate the catalyst for the weapon. Now, 90% seems a bit far fetched from what I've seen, but the multiple damage being applied to a target allows both light and dark transcendence energy to quickly build up. Now, slap on a War Vix for the Titan with the following, and you got a build that not only slapped in its base form, but also becomes an absolute monster in its Priz form as well. And lastly, this newly released Heavy Trace Rifle has been making the rounds of the community with how powerful it is when used against Subjugators and the Shields. If you want a good example of this, try this on the final campaign mission with the Subjugator in the boss room and watch as their health goes down to zero in seconds. Now that's not the only reason to use the weapon in your prismatic form. Its damage is on par to most machine guns in the game, so you can keep its damage ratio going for a long time, and also benefit from our transcendence energy over time. On top of that, since it's a kinetic heavy, we can then use another kinetic within our primary as well, so we can maintain and keep the pressure going for getting any necessary energy back. It's also really good for being used after your super has ended, as you're getting a massive damage buff along with it. So use this after a short super usage, 
And not only will you be doing more damage, but your transcendence energy will also greatly increase with thanks to faster or great secondary effects. Just a little tip, I found that using this with Cenotap, having a strand or stasis trace rifle with faster sacrifice, and then maintaining your abilities is actually the best method for regaining your light and dark prismatic energy as you casually play. Of course, you don't need the exotic to achieve this as well, but it's nice to keep this in mind nonetheless. So that there is my top connect exotics to use when picking Faso Grace Fragment combo. My list may not have been what most of you guys may recommend to others, but the idea is to show you guys why certain exotics work so well with a fragment. It's now down to you to try the following out and see if it benefits you or if you want to try something else instead. If you have any thoughts on content shared, then please leave a comment below. While at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub while here. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.